In the previous step, we learned how to grab an object by hands with hand tracking technology. In this step, we want to learn how we can create main menu with UI of Unity in VR. All right. In this step, we want to create a main menu for our VR product. So we need to uh, install a useful a useful package. It's called VR UI Kits. We can find out this package from Unity Asset Store and searching in the search bar VR UI Kit. As you can see, we have several UI elements uh, and prepared for the VR U. Uh, controllers and clickable by VR controllers and also as you can see uh, it has been uh, made for several types of uh, headsets uh, Vive, Oculus Rift, Quest Go, Gear VR and other things uh, it is suitable for us so I propose to use this uh, useful package it is cheap 35 bucks it's not too much after you download this package into your project you will have this package and this folder demo folder in this folder you can find out a uh, useful and uh, example scenes of the this package uh, instruments and in the, this scene oculus laser demo you can find this package UI Canvas prepared for VR menu. As you can see, in here we have some buttons, and once we click on any of them, we can see any contents we want. For example, it is item 1. Once you click on intro, once you click on profile, you will see this keyboard it will be useful for once you want to create your username or password for login or logout or uh, sign, up, sign up or even you want to create a local uh, profile for your uh, student or professor in the uh, simulator in the item tree we have several types of uh, actions for uh, settings menu or other customizable uh, items in your simulator. Oh, sorry. And in here, we have a great gallery for and slideshows for uh, showing slide uh, slide uh, contents in your. Uh, simulator images buttons UI elements or other things in your simulators okay I want to save this scene exactly in the scenes folder it's called main menu perfect now let's to uh, modify this scene and uh, set it for our project for example uh, let's to change the item 1 and change it to um, list of uh, mission no start and once we click on the start button start BTN once we click on the start button we will see this uh, page and in this page we will see uh, start simulator something like this perfect and this intro we will say let's to test uh, we are robot 
simulator in Oculus Quest 2. And also, we will have a button in this page as well for uh, starting and, and go to the next scene. And uh, let's to create a button. Perfect. And we will say start scene. And um, put it in here. Okay, once we clicked on this file, it is profile, so we call it profile btn, once we see it, we can write any name in, in here, and maybe in the future we will uh, use this part for uh, login, logout, or sign up page for our uh, simulator. So, in here in the keyboard, we have the final um, keyboard manager and keyboard extension method. And in here, oh, in the form content, we have username and password. It is simple input fields. So it's in here, we can keep them. Only thing is that. And I want, I don't want to change the settings and gallery page. Let's to change some things else in the start page. Uh, start page, profile page setting page and gallery page perfect in here i want to do something cool once we click on a start we will see this page and once we click on this button where we will go to the scene level one so we need to have a script it's called main menu manager a c sharp script main menu manager perfect great uh, now let's to add this canvas add this script to this canvas main menu manager here and let's to go to the visual studio for scripting this part Perfect. Oh, uh, I need to double click again on this script. Right, in here we don't need this part and I have to add using Unity. Oh, sorry. Uh, Unity engine dot scene management I need to wait for okay perfect now let's to create a simple function it's called void 
uh, load scene, load level. Perfect. I don't want to conflict with the default functions of the scene management. Now in here, let's to call scene manager dot load scene in the default variable of this function I want to uh, call a simple local string variable uh, level name now let's to load the level name scene perfect come back to the editor Great. In the canvas, we have this one. So, I want to say, once we press this button or click by controller, this button, let's to call this function, main menu manager, loads level. Which level? Level 1. I want to check the name because the name must be exactly the same in here. Oh, it has a space between level and one. Perfect. Okay. As you can see, we are in this an empty scene with our UI. And all UI with my controller work well. Look at this. Perfect. And in here, for example, this keyboard works well and we can use it for any UI uh, or any actions in our scene. And in here, let's to start a VR robot simulator in Oculus Quest 2. And once I press start scene, I'm in here. Perfect. Let's go to the next step.